Good morning, my name is Roderick Miller and uh, I am an eighth grade English teacher at John Rolfe Middle School. This is my advanced English class and today we're going to be working on comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs. All right, so guys, I was telling y'all earlier in the class that when I was in college, I ran an open mic, sort of like a, a poetry cipher. And uh, what happened was we used to have people come from everywhere at, to my poetry cipher. I used to have like fruit at the tables. We won't have fruit today, but I used to have fruit at the tables. I do have treats though for you. But we used to have fruit at the tables and we would have people come from everywhere and they would say their poems. And I would sort of start off, you know, everything. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do sort of like a small simulation of that using comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs. So I'm going to start off and then we're going to do two tasks today. And at the end of the task, we're going to, you, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to come up and say your poems that you're supposed to have done last class. OK, let's move on. All right, so uh, the name of this piece, and I want, and I want you to pay attention because I'm going to have questions for you afterwards. The name of this piece is Comparative and Superlative Me. It's just a little something, it's no, you know, a little something, nothing like what you guys are going to do later. All right, I want to be the greatest man that I have ever met and evolve with myself to places beyond what my consciousness has allowed my eyes to see yet. And if my physical body is not better than what my mind can see, then he should surrender his soul and combine with me and fly violently towards my forever. More fearless than Superman with supersonic flight and the ability to regenerate myself with the speed of light. I am faster than my fears and stronger than my tears shed in a world full of neglect and the constant disrespect that dances in places where ignorance and education intersect, and there I stand. Equipped with the energy that allows me to barrel faster than water travels through gravel. I am living through the battle because I am bad to the bone marrow. The earth has one sun, but I walk with seven shadows that are ready to protect me from the worst parts of myself, that forsake the development of my inner being for clothes, cars, and wealth. I just want to do more than exist, like some humans do. I want to be the best version of myself. What about you? And then if y'all really like it, then you would snap your fingers. And Normally, we don't clap at the end because, you know, normally the, the, the open mic is kind of laid back and calm and cool. All right, so somebody talk to me. What, what did you get out of what I just said? Keep in mind today's lesson is about comparative and superlative adjectives. What did you hear in what I just said? Anything. There's, there's no right or wrong answers. Nathan. My best self, my best self. Why did I use best? You can, you can, you can, you can give answers loud. It's a superlative. Good, good. All right? Anything else? What was I comparing there? Was I comparing anything? A lot of things. So just give me one. You said I heard somebody say self, right? My physical, right? Good, good. So this is kind of what we do. I'm, I'm going to bring your attention over here to my ad, adverbs and adjective wall. You guys will be, in, in about two minutes, you guys will be interacting with this. Keep in mind, we're talking about adverbs and adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe, thank you. You can say it louder. It's OK. Adjectives are words that describe, all right. And then adverbs are, are words that describe, good. So there are two different types. Comparative, when you're comparing two things, that's the comparative form. You're comparing two people to things. Now, keep in mind, if, you are, if there are two or more syllables, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't put, uh, you would put a more, not the ER. Keep in mind, and this is just a review. We, we went over this last week. Superlative is when you're comparing one person or, or, or a thing with every other thing. Like I said, I want to be the greatest man, right? OK. And, and in that, you use uh, most or EST, OK? So this is what I want you guys to do. We can do this, we can do this one of two ways. You can, you can either uh, turn to your neighbor, right, and, and talk to them. Or you can get, we, can, we can get up, move around. <laughs> this class is not a moving class. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to talk to your neighbor. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes. I want you to have a comparative and superlative conversation with your neighbor. And this is what it will look like. After, at the end of that conversation, I want you to have a comparative and superlative sentence that you're going to put on a sticky note and stick up there uh, in, the, in the proper place. Yes, in a minute. So Amaya, come here. She is my, uh, she, she, she and I are going to, to enact 
uh, role play. This is what I want you guys to do. So, how you doing today? I'm good. Okay, oh, good, good. You, uh, do you like scary movies? No. Not really? Well, what types of movies do you like? Romantic movies. Romantic movies. What's your favorite romantic movie? The Kissing Booth. The Kissing Booth. Do you have a, another romantic movie that you like? Okay, so it's all about kissing, huh? Just, uh, <laughs> okay, so so, which one is your which, which which one do you like better? Better, y'all see what I did there? Which one do you like better, the kissing booth, or the no kiss list? Is that what you said? Yeah. Which one do you like better? The kissing booth. Okay, so I have just prompted a comparative response out of Amaya. So what I would do is on a sticky note, I would write, Amaya likes the movie, the kissing booth, better then she likes the no kiss list. And then I will write that down and stick that under, am I sticking that under comparative or superlative? Comparative. That's it. Any questions or concerns? No. All right, so Cheyenne's gonna pass out your sticky note paper. I need your names on the bottom of the sticky note. It's, it's right there. If you need pencils, uh, Cheyenne has those too. I'm gonna give you five minutes and it, and it starts as soon as your table, your group gets their sticky note. And I like Chick-fil-A because um, Chick-fil-A is better than um, Burger King. I like macaroni and cheese because my mama, she cooked that better than any other food. Oh, I like pizza because it's better than any other food out there, period. <laughs> um, if we're talking and I'd be like, which one do you like more, Chipotle? Or you'd be like, which one's better? Or McDonald's. Chipotle. He's the greatest, he's the greatest of all time. And is that the comparative or superlative? Another middle book for this guy right here. <laughs> 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 Get that by the end of the day. He's not gonna give it to the middle of the day. Either way, he's not gonna give it to the middle of the day. I know it'd be messed up. It's gonna, it's gonna cause a war, and anybody who here plays games PlayStation versus Xbox. <laughs> Okay, what is this right here? Oh, that's a quotation. Okay, why is this why is this quotation lower than the other one up top? Okay, okay. You talked to who? You got Tyza talk to you? Tyza gave you this information? Yes. Okay. Is everybody done? Group one, y'all done? Okay. I need you to come place the sticky notes. Comparative or superlative? Make sure you place it correctly because I'm going to read off. Okay. Now, if y'all can have some sort of uh, method so I can fit all of them on here, Bra Braden, if you could have some sort of method. All right. Hopefully, we have an equal number. Of, I saw some superlatives. Hopefully, we have an equal number of superlatives and comparative. If not, we might have to revisit. All right. Group two. Don't worry, that's, that's, we, we, we're still rolling with it. It's not, it's not over. We're going to do a lot of things with comparatives and superlatives. Look, everybody's going to compare it. Okay. All right. So this allows me to, to oh, oh we, got, we, got a, we, got a, we got a late planter coming up right here. Okay. Oh, here's a superlative though. Good. Good. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, take a few, read through them, and then we're going to discuss why we have uh, a thousand comparatives and, and three superlatives. But let's just do this. And uh, oh, wow. She, OK. So I'm, I'm not going to read the name. Don't worry about that. Maddie likes Alfredo better than macaroni and cheese because it tastes better. OK. So what two things are being compared here? OK. Okay, this is good. This is good. I, I, I like mac. I'm a mac and cheese guy myself. I like mac and cheese better than Alfredo. I made Alfredo last night from, with the with the grilled chicken in there and everything. Um, yeah, yeah. I mess around. I mess around. All right. Um, Cheyenne likes pizza more than any other food. Period. Period. Right. <laughs> how many? How many? I, I'm a. 
pizza is my favorite food as well. Pizza is just, it was just made by angels. It was made by angels. Okay, let me get another one over here. Um, oh, okay. So this is, this is an interesting one because this one, y'all, well, y'all tell me at the end. Kobe Bryant is the biggest ball hog. Is that comparative or superlative? It's superlative. Now, I'm not going to call any names, but someone put it under the comparative. So now we have a, another, another superlative. Good. And they actually, had, they actually had another sentence here, but I am not going to read that. Uh, I'm not going to read that for fear I would have to uh, be biased in my grading uh, for a student. Duke is better than UNC. I think that's what it was. Said, said something like that. Okay, Nathan likes Mexican food better than Italian food. I'm an, I'm an Italian food guy. I like Italian food better. Okay, okay. All right, now, this, let's, let's go to superlative. LeBron James, and this is a true statement too, uh, LeBron James is the greatest basketball player ever. I believe that this quite possibly could be the greatest sentence I've ever seen. I'm telling you right now, it's just, I don't know who did this. I don't know who did this, but this is, this is awesome. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Um, superlative, it only got four um, sticky notes as opposed to comparative. So if I were to, I don't know, make a judgment call, it would, it would seem that we are more comfortable with comparative adjectives and adverbs than we are with superlatives. Is that true? Okay, so why is that? Okay, so you, you, it's, it's easier to use in a sentence? Yeah, we use it more every day than we would use a superlative. Okay, okay, you use it more every day than you use a superlative. So, so you, you're more often to compare two things than you are to compare something to every other thing. Yeah. Mm, we're going to explore that uh, in our writing uh, right now. Thank you guys for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our little lesson on comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs. Roll, Roll drive! drive.